Now, we keep using the words get, keep, and grow, but this get, keep, and grow actually refers to human beings, not just random ideas. And one of the things we need to understand is what's the archetype or the persona of our customers that we're actually wanting to get? And so one of the things that's kind of hard for startups is to realize that getting customers isn't some abstract idea. You really need to understand who your customers are. And this is not just thinking about selling to consumers. Even in corporations, there are human beings with titles that you need to figure out almost the same things as you would in a consumer company. And so what you need to understand, what are the roles of these individuals you're trying to sell to? Who are they? If it's in a company, what's their position? What's their title? What's their organization? And by the way, not just on the org chart, how do they get influenced or who do they influence? And if they're actually buyers, how do they buy? I mean, how do they hear about products? How do they know about you? And as we'll see later, one of the interesting things is there are some customers that are users, like in Google, there are people who use search, but there are people who are payers, who are actually a whole different customer segment. So you need to understand, are these people, this archetype I'm trying to define, are they the users, are they payers, are they regulators, or are they somewhere else in the buying process? And what you really are trying to understand, if you remember from the value proposition and customer segment lectures, is you're trying to understand what pain is being solved for them and what gain is your product creating for them. And at the core is you're trying to derive an archetype of who they are. And so what we tend to do is suggest there are startups that you literally start with a series of hypotheses and you get out of the building and in your customer discovery process you're going to start refining archetypes. It turns out that most companies are selling to multiple archetypes. If you have two or three, don't worry, that's probably fine. If you have 20, it means you've voted none of the above and you really need to refine it more. But then we suggest that companies actually pick a representative picture of who that persona is, who the person would most represent that archetype, put together a poster post it on the wall of your engineering department and say, here's who you're building the product for. It's Dave. He might be young urban professional, 21 to 30, lives in large cities, buys X or Y. Or it could be Sally, Midwest mother of 45 to 55 in the Midwest of the United States. Or someone in India or China. It doesn't matter. What you need to do is have an opinion based on some fact that gets refined, that helps you understand these are the people we're trying to acquire. And don't angst about your first hypothesis, but understand the whole goal of customer discovery is to continually to refine. These are the people we think are most likely to buy in the early stages of our company.